हेलो फ्रेंड्स लेट इज लर्न ए न्यू लेक्चर टुडे ऑन माइट्रल स्टीनोस इट्स कार्डियोवैस्कुलर सिस्टम सो आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट सी वी एस टूडे एंड आई एल ट्राई टू कम्प्लीट द सी वी एस बाई ट्वेंटी एथ ऑफ फेब्रुवरी सो टूडेज टॉपिक विच आई वुड लाइक टू एक्सप्लेन इज अबाउट माइट्रल स्टीनोसिस सो इन माइट्रल स्टीनोसिस वी हैव फर्स्ट लेट इज लर्न about the basics of mitral stenosis in this class and in the next class we will go into the pathophysiology of mitral stenosis so if this is the heart okay so it's just a theoretical representation so yeah so this is the left atrium left ventricle and this is the mitral valve so here what is stenosis stenosis is if this is the valve there will be two leaflets of mitral valve not three okay so if there is mitral stenosis there is inability of the mitral valve to uh mitral stenosed the valve is stenosed so there is inability of the mitral valve to open so here the mitral valve is not able to open so if it has to open like this so it's not able to open so that is mitral stenosis so before you know about it first you will have to know the normal size of the mitral valve so here the normal size or area of mitral valve is 5 cm square 5 cm square is the normal area of the mitral valve this mitral valve normally it is 5 or you can say 4 to 6 cm square if you wanted to say the range whenever the mitral valve opening is narrowed if it is narrowed to 1.5 to 2 cm square then this is called as mild mitral stenosis if this is narrowed to 1 to 1.5 cm square then we call it has moderate mitral stenosis if this has narrowed to less than 1 cm square then this is called as severe mitral stenosis now what happens if it narrows prior what is the etiology why does it narrow causes of narrowing mitral valve what is the main reason for narrowing of mitral valve so there are two reasons one are the main causes you know uh, those are the causes which causes the, those uh, etiology are the one which will uh, affect the mitral valve and thus causing obstruction or uh, narrowing the valve and the second etiology is they are false uh, etiologies in reality they don't uh, have any effect on the mitral valve in the second part the mitral valve is completely normal but there is some obstruction here has a result the mitral valve opening is narrowed so let us learn both of them in uh, a clear way so in this in this uh, class so first most common and affects mitral valve so what are they first and foremost number 1 rheumatic heart disease we know in rheumatic heart disease is mainly caused by post streptococcal uh, infection um, so this rheumatic heart disease affects mitral valve and that results in mitral stenosis here the mitral valve which is there this undergoes calcification or it undergoes thickening diffuse thickening this type of mitral valve is called as fish mouth valve because if it gets steroid st stenosed okay so that is rheumatic heart disease the second one is uh mitral calcification sometimes the mitral valve may be, may calcify because of some severe some different reasons reasons and the third congenital stenosis of mitral valve congenitally the mitral valve has been stenosed so it's not able to open and fourth it can be some connective tissue disorders like rheumatoid arthritis and sle or fifth it can be because of mucopolysaccharide diseases or some other mucopolysaccharide like lysosomal storage disorders and all those okay metabolic disorders okay and the next these are the normal causes and the second causes which will obstruct the opening 
these include let me draw some pictures for it so that you'll understand first uh, if this is the heart okay uh, this is the mitral valve think that this is the mitral valve so there will be some growth in the heart most commonly the most common tumor of the heart is myxoma so this myxoma can obstruct the um, mitral opening mitral valve opening the mitral valve is completely normal here it is obstructing the mitral valve opening the second one is called has cox triatrum here there is a membrane in the uh, left atrium so this membrane causes narrowing so this is called has cor tire triatrum okay where there is a membrane which causes narrowing then the next one is uh, some thrombus which can cause uh, the obstruction so these are the main causes which are uh, which obstruct the opening okay um, so these are the etiological causes resulting in mitral stenosis okay these are false false causes these are true causes okay uh, in our next class we will learn about the pathophysiology of mitral valve disease so thank you guys for watching my lecture please subscribe the channel for new lectures and um thank you for watching my lectures thank you